What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warring Aviators and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel. And today we're doing part two of our multiple part mini series on how to do the Saturn Rings trick. So if you haven't seen it already, the Saturn Rings trick consists of three separate moves that go around the body like Saturn's rings. This is a slightly more complicated trick than uh, some others out there. So this is probably more intermediate level, but I'm breaking it down into three parts. And in this part, we're going over the horizontal toss. Now, of course, before we get started, you know that we have to run that intro. So in this trick, we're gonna be going over the helicopter toss, which is the second trick in this combination. This helicopter toss has the bow staff spin horizontally like a helicopter blade, but does it in front of you and below your hips and below your chest. This means you can't just toss it in the air and just let it spin above you. It has to spin out in front of you. So the way to do this is we're gonna start off with our grip. You can do this with either hand, it doesn't matter, but the way we're gonna do this is with our left hand because this has to go in with the combination that we're doing. And so in the combination, we're gonna be using our left hand for this trick. So I suggest practicing it with both so that you get ambidextrous and you can actually, you know, do this trick no matter what bow staff or no, no matter what side you start with. Also, while I have your attention, consider subscribing because uh, that would help me out. Okay, so you're gonna hold it not in the middle, not apart, but towards one end of your bow staff, just like this. You're gonna wanna hold it towards one end, not all the way at the end. See, there's still plenty of space behind my hand so I have control, but you're gonna wanna hold it at one hand. So once you have it in the right, in the right grip, once you have it in your hand, you're gonna to to get this nice fluid swinging motion to get it started. This is what gives you your initial momentum to help carry the spin all the way around. Now, what your wrist is going to do is gonna pop it inward to give it that spin. Now, because of the way this trick is designed, you don't really wanna pop it up all that much. It's not designed to go super high. It's designed to spin quickly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop your wrist and let go as the other side comes in, your opposite hand will grab the bow staff just like that. So again, nice and slow, step by step, you're gonna swing out, you're going to pop your wrist in, it's going to spin once you let go, and your opposite hand, your right hand, is going to grab the bow staff like that. So all together, it'll look something like this. Now notice, I don't pop it up very high. It stays nice and low, keeping it low on to closer to the ground as opposed to just tossing it up and letting it spin. Because anybody can toss it up and let it spin. It takes skill and the trick requires you to leave it nice and low, almost as a, uh, as a slow motion, like spinning move in front of your body. Like that. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Don't forget, there's gonna be more parts coming as we get closer to finishing the trick. I have one more part to show you, and then we can put the trick together in part four. Now, if you don't know already, I have links down in the description to a bunch of stuff, including this bow staff, where I got this bow staff, and where I have my merch. So don't go ahead and check both of those things out. Tenth Degree Weaponry is a great bow staff company, and that's where I got this and my merch is always there for you guys if you want to rep the modern ninja merch so with all that said don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff because my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out